Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Return to Krondor. We're in the throne room here with our new party members, Kandarik and Solon, and we have to get them outfitted. I've dumped a few useless items on the floor, such as Kandarik's brewing set. I don't think I'm going to need any other replacement parts for Jishara's set. A dagger that Kandarik was carrying, and those recipes that neither Jishara nor Kandarik... Uh, no one already have memorized. Also, look at Solon here. He's got this armor, cavalry, chainmail. What is this? Cavalry, chainmail, leggings. All right. Well, he's got a full set of chainmail, which is nice, but it's just not going to do because I had the foresight of providing him with a much better set of armor. Magical breastplate, elven chainmail leggings, and elven chainmail sleeves. He looks much better now. He does have 5% more weight to carry than he does with his cavalry chainmail set, but I think this set will serve him much better and it will never get damaged. So that's a plus. Oh, and I have to give all these books to Kandarik. I should have done this before I started recording, but I did not. And now I'm paying the price. Oh, it's so painful. I have to click and click and drag. And let's look at Kandark's skills, because we haven't really done that yet. He's kind of a novice. Fire 25, Mind 30, Storm 60. Oh, he's pretty good with storms, and Change 50. So let's read some books. These books all look the same, so, I mean, you've seen one, you've seen of all. Oh yeah, experience. Wow, he used every single book. That's good. So, now he's pretty good with fire and mind, very good with change, and he's mastered the storm's path. If I could have carried more books, I would have brought more books. Maybe if I planned the game out a little bit better. <laughs> well, I didn't. And we don't really need the money, but, well, I just can't throw money away. Not at this part. Not at this point in the game. So Kandarik's a pretty good mage now. That was easy. And Solon's got his armor. And James isn't so weighed down by everything. He's still carrying... He's still got 52% somehow. Well, these, these fire oil po potions are kind of heavy. Three, six, seven and a half pounds worth of fire oil. Like, the, your, your average potion is half a pound. These potions are three times as heavy. Well, they're three times as good. <laughs> All right. Uh, this guy looks like he might have something to say to us. The shops are all closed at this late hour, and you must away before dawn, Squire. Unfortunately, and I don't know why exactly the game works this way, but it, it seems a little unplanned, hasty, kind of, from, from a development uh, point of view. But you can't go to the shops anymore in Krondor. Once you leave, once you talk to Moraine in the Golden Grimoire, you cannot go back to the shops in Krondor. That is why I saved the Heirloom game well before this episode. Let's get into position, party, for some reason. All right, so here's what the prince uh, is providing for our campaign. And this is all free. Here's magical armor, and it's very nice, but we're not going to be able to sell it. Might as well take the healing potions, just in case. You could always use healing potions, you know. Uh, Centurion, I don't even know what that is. So, uh, so long, can't use it, but let's have a look. One's power and deadly accuracy to the wielder. Well, I don't really think I'll use it, but... 
I don't know. Give it to James and we'll see what happens. Um, 195, 115. 215, 115. Wow. Well, I could always try it. It's a nice sword. And these weapons are totally useless because there are no warriors in the party and only warriors can use great swords. Solon doesn't use bladed weapons. Blessed hammer. Here's a magical warhammer. So, I can use that. That's something. And here's an enchanted longbow. What a waste of money this elven longbow was, huh? Was the enchanted ones going to do a better job? Potion of strength? Yes, please. Strong potion of fire protection? Eh, well, I suppose I can tolerate that. Potions of spellcasting, a poison antidote, and a resin of total repair. So kind of nice potions. The swords I have no interest in. The axe is nice, although Solon cannot use it since it has a blade. It's a nice weapon, but only William can use it. Can you believe that? And a whole bunch of armor. If I give Solon a mace, or just no weapon at all to cast spells, I can give him a shield as well. But like I said, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to have him use a hammer. So there he is, using a hammer. And the arrows, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll need them, but there's a whole bunch of arrows. So now James has 50 arrows. And here we are. I cannot access the map or the party screen. If I want to brew up, brew up a storm with the potions, I cannot do that now. Can't really do much of anything can't go in this door and cleanse it of all brigands that may lie within or check it for chests or packs of goodies and the obelisk which previously beckoned us to other parts of the city hmm Halden head huh the obelisk is no longer open as an option. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna go back to the priest of Prandur. Not because I think he has anything useful to do or say, but because I want to see what happens if I try and take Kandarik and Solon over there. Whoa! I thought it was nighttime. Boy, this, this priest of Prandur business is powerful. Sorry. Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. Journey of some importance. Uh, these potions. Oh, alright. I don't know what these things do, but sure, I'll take it. Holy bomb, holy bomb, holy bomb. Strong holy bomb, yeah, sure. Undead protection. Are you seeing a theme here? I certainly am. Poison antidote. All right, thanks for the goodies. Now I can get out of here. And since we haven't actually fought anyone... Oh. Since we haven't fought anyone, the party has a lot of carrying capacity right now. Two new members and no new items. So that's a lot of stuff that we can carry. And I think we have a little time to discuss the next stage in our journey. I don't think these soldiers are talkative, are they? No, they're not. All right, so here's the map. Here's the coast. This, how can I, dis how can I put this? When I, when I look at this map, I don't see the Bitter Sea and this coastline of the kingdom. 
I see <clears throat> California. <laughs> anyway, we're here in Crondor in the lower southwest southeast corner of the map. The Wayfarer Inn is where our contact for the crown is. I don't know why we need to meet with him, but for some reason we do. Stuff is going to go down at the Wayfarer Inn. And here's Widow's Point, and presumably this is around where the ship sank, and this is where we need to go. And this is just a point along our journey. So let's get going. Hold! The road ahead seems right for surprise. A few bushes and a wide spot on the road worries you? He's right. There's someone hiding in the trees ahead. Um, we might be able to sneak past them, but I have no desire to. We could attack them, but I prefer to talk things out. I will not skulk along this path like a coward. You who are hidden are now revealed by my faith. Stand and face the might of Ishap, or flee like the craven dogs you are. That wasn't very diplomatic. So, we seem to be in a battle here. But I can't even see the enemy. Oh, there they are. Like, a mile away. So, this is by far the largest distance we've had between our opponents and us. And, the, so, I, I mean... That gives us plenty of time to do things like apply potions and mess around. So I can switch to the longbow here and shoot them from a distance. And I didn't think to give James any fire oil for some reason. I thought he would be swinging his sword, so I guess I'll just end his turn here. This stuff is so great. Bandits have high initiative, apparently. Making forges our way. They're sneaking up. And, uh... Solon's kind of far away. How many turns does he get? He only gets one hit. Alright, so I guess I'll send Solon in. Just for the heck of it. And he misses. Pathetic. All right, let's try this stuff out. Oh, nasty! I have to select the area. Yes. So that was about a hundred. Oh, there's a third guy. There's a third guy. That was a surprise. I didn't expect there would be a third guy. It does a lot of damage, too. Alright, Kandarik. How about... Uh, a lightning strike for this guy. I love it. And he resisted the spell. James will take out this guy. Well, James will begin taking out that guy. And Jasara will strike down this awful person with... Um, I don't know. Chaos Storm. Yes! Awesome. Jasara did an excellent job taking down that opponent. Next time on Let's Play Return to Krondor, we'll start exploring the countryside. See you there!